Now let's create a few more parameters so I can better control my model. I'll go into my relation editor. And I'm going to use the technique from the previous tutorial. Well, I'll just type out the parameter name in a relation and set it to a value. So let's create one for OD is equal to, I'm going to grab D1 here. Next, I'm going to create a parameter for center hole diameter. Equals D3. Also, I'm going to create a parameter for bolt circle diameter. That equals D23. And one more bolt hole underscore diameter equals repaint my model. D5. Hit verify, and you can see that those parameters were created down here. Now I'm going to go ahead and set up the relation, and I'm going to reverse it. Notice the parameter is first, so it was created just by setting it equal to a dimension, but those parameters are locked up. I can't modify them. So what I'll do is I'm going to reverse these. Control C on the D1, Control V equals, again, I can just type it in, D3 equals center hole diameter, D23 equals bolt circle diameter, and D5 equals bolt hole diameter. Get rid of that extra data here. Hit the green checkbox. And now I've quickly set up more parameters that I can use to drive my model. And as you can see, they're modifiable. Please check out other video tutorials from Simplified Logic or visit our website at simplifiedlogic.com.